Hello, uh, my name is Kevin DeLeon. I'm your sales representative for Cengage Learning. And today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about um, our MindTap um, handbook uh, that we have available for your students. Um, the price of the bookstore is $25. And this is a product that can be packaged with um, any of our other English titles. It can be used with anyone else's titles or it can be used all by itself. Um, we also um, integrate pretty seamlessly into um, Blackboard, and I can show you a little bit about that in a second. But I wanted to do kind of a quick demonstration on how it works. Um, and so uh, here I am inside of our Instructor Resource Center. This is a resource center for instructors that I can set up for each and every one of you. Um, and it's where I can load um, um, MindTap courses or access for MindTap for you. In this case, I have um, for this instructor. Um, so here I am inside. Um, if you need to, if you have some books here already listed in your drop down, you can click this drop down and look. In this case, there's only one. Um, and if you'd like to add another, you can come up here and search here and add resources. But in this case, I've already, there's only one here, so I've already selected it. And I've actually already created a course down here at the bottom. Um, and so this is my access to MindTap handbook. So I'm going to click on it and inside I go. If any of you have any questions about your username or password or access or anything like that, please email me uh, directly. Uh, so when we enter MindTap, um, this is the screen we're going to see. You might see this view over here. Um, this is a week view. Sometimes that's the default. Um, but I'm in the unit view over here. Okay, So I just wanted to point out a couple of things. The first thing that you'll see is the items right in front of you are the different parts of the handbook that we have here. Um, and in each part, you're going to see um, some learning objectives for that part. And then a quick practice exercise about that part. In this case, this part is about writing. So this is a quick exercise about why we write. And then inside of this are all the chapters that have to do with writing. Okay. Um, in some cases, they're in order. In other cases, they're not. But in this case, they are. Um, and then you can click inside of each chapter. Um, there's an ebook about that chapter. And then this is a quick problem set of reviewing the basic concepts, in this case, of planning. Okay, this item can either count towards grade and can be automatically, um, the grades can be automatically imported into your Blackboard gradebook or it can simply be practiced for your students, however you like. Um, it can really be either way. But if we were to click on this item here, I'll let you see what the ebook looks like really quickly. And inside the ebook, as well as the view we were in before, you guys will have the ability to add a bunch of your own materials. Okay, so you can use these um, hyperlinks here to get to different sections of this of 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 the planning, or you can use the arrow over here. Okay, couple cool things you can highlight, and once released, you can highlight in a different color. You can add a note. You can search our Questia app, which I'll go over shortly. You can have the text read to you, or you can add this as a definition for a flashcard if you want to make some flashcards. Okay, so pretty neat. A couple things. As you do these, all of your highlights and notes um, will um, actually be loaded into an app um, called your My Notes app. Additionally, if you want to add some other material inside of here, you can click this pencil and the plus button, and you can add an activity right inside of here. You can add a YouTube video, if you like, a web link, maybe to the Purdue Writing Lab, for instance. Um, inside of Questia, there's a bunch of tutorials that I'll get to in a minute that you can add. And then you can also add your own content. Maybe it's a, a PowerPoint or a handout or really anything that you would normally hand out for students, you can add it here, okay? And then once you're done, you can click out, which is pretty neat. You can also add um, the items right inside of each chapter by clicking this plus and going to add activity. Or right here in this big area, you can add it too. So why don't we go do that really quick just so that I can show you what it looks like. Now a lot of my, a lot of the students um, that we work with, um, you know, obviously have trouble with writing. So um, adding some of these tutorials here um, might help a lot. This is our Questia app and I'll go through this. Uh, a little bit more in just a second. There's a bunch of tutorials listed here, okay? And I'll show you how to add those. You could also add any writings that you, or any readings that you'd like out of here as well. I'll show you that in a second. So I'll click the tutorials. You can see all the different items here in the tutorials that we can cover, okay? 
but in this case, we'll just go to plan a paper. And there are a bunch of videos and examples under each topic. And if you want to add a video and or an example, you can. You just click Add to MindTap. It's going to ask you if you'd like to add it, where you'd like to add it, down here. If you want to change the title, you can, or description. And here it is. Maybe if you want to add a reading from Questia. Something that my instructors always talk to me about is that every single book that they get for any of their English composition or literature courses, none of them really have all the selected readings that they're really, really, really looking for. Um, some books have some readings, some have other readings, but no, no book has all of them. Our Questia database will allow you to search over 83,000 books and over 10 million other content sources like peer-reviewed periodicals, magazines, news articles, really anything that you like. Um, so maybe we'll search, I don't know, The Great Gatsby. And there are some filters on the left-hand side. And I can also look in, in term, I can look in any of these other areas that you, that I'd like. But maybe I just wanted to add these cliff notes just for demonstration purposes. And I could add to MindTap. Again, it will ask me if I want to change the title or the description or the order location. But in this case, I'm just going to say save, and here it is. So for any of you that are using another composition book um, and you have to supplement with other books for readings or essays or anything like that, um, Questia will really be able to provide all of you exactly what you're looking for all in one area. And then when your students come, all the areas can be listed here. And you can even come over in here and add a new folder or a new unit if you like to help with your organization. Again, we seamlessly integrate into Blackboard. So if you wanted to bring over each of these items that I added here right into Blackboard for a, for a, for a one link access, you could do that too, okay? Now I wanted to come over here all the way at the top to the apps because there's a couple apps that I wanted to talk to you about. The first one is called NetTutor. And I'll click on it here. So NetTutor is a tutoring service that we have. I know that many of you use a tutoring service already. So this is what NetTutor is and, and it might be a little different from the tutoring service that you currently use. When your students have a writing assignment that they need a revision on, okay, maybe they're at home and they don't have access to the library or they haven't gone to the writing center as maybe you might have instructed them to do, but they need some help. So they can come here to the paper center. They can fill out some information about their paper, okay, and they can upload it, okay. And once they upload the paper, they're going to get um, a turnaround of about 48 to 72 hours. Let me show you the uh, sample here. And they're going to get some feedback that looks like this. So a quick note from the tutor and then the actual paper. Okay. And they get six free paper submissions every semester. They can use these on assignments for your class, and they can also use them cross-disciplinary, maybe if they're writing a paper for history or psychology that they need help on. This does a couple things. It's going to help your students get better grades and turn in better assignments, but it's also going to help save you time. Because instead of having the students maybe give, you two, give them two submissions from you, which I imagine takes a long time for you to review, two writing assignments for all of your students for all of your sections. Maybe you could just have one revision and maybe require that your students do one other through NetTutor and maybe turn the results into you so that you can discuss them together with them. Okay. And again, they get six free writing assignment submissions per semester. The MindTap handbook can also be customized so that we give one semester or two semester access, kind of just depending on what your needs are. So it's very cool and it's really easy to get to. The second app that I want to talk to you about is called Questia. And we've already seen it very, very briefly. Questia provides students with a learning tool to develop research and writing skills. And again, it's via access to over 10 million articles, full text, digital books, and multimedia. Um, the the um, reason that we want students to have access to this is because we want them to be able to, again, turn in better papers with a much better understanding of the writing process, okay? So not only can they use this as a library when doing any research for either a research paper or any writing assignment, 
okay? And these are the different topics and different publications, okay? They can also search here like, a, like um, they're searching um, Google. There's some how-to videos to help them, okay? We also have a writing center here. I'm sure you have a writing center on campus, but we have one as well, okay? And there are some tools to help you write a better paper, okay? And you can load your papers in here, and we can help you find your topic, and we can also help you with these different writing steps that you might have, okay? So here we are getting started, selecting a topic, research and note taking, develop your thesis, creating an outline, so on and so on and so forth. The idea isn't that we have all of our students do every single one of these for every writing assignment, but it's a really wonderful tool for our students to go to, to access the content, the vetted content that we have here and for extra assistance. Because we know that you're only one person and you can only be spread so thin, we want to be able to give access like this to students who need the additional help, and we want them to be able to get it as quick as possible. So they can access this through the library at school if they like, at home, and then this fall we're going to have a MindTap app coming out where they'll actually be able to access Questia and MindTap Handbook directly from their phones and tablets as well as their computers. Okay. I also mentioned before that there's a bunch of tutorials here as well. And here they are again. And again, each one of them has got a bunch of different videos and examples about um, this, in this case, understanding plagiarism, knowing what and why to cite, keeping track of their sources, and also great examples of each of these. And again, all of these you can add into the MindTap um, learning path. One of the last things that I wanted to talk to you about is this app called Applia. One of the things that all my instructors talk to me about is how do we help our students increase their increase and develop their critical thinking skills. And so the way that we help is through Applia. And so students here are exposed to critical thinking assignments on pretty most pretty much most writing topics, okay? Here are the different topics. As you can see the list is really 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 long. I'm not going to go through all of them. These can be added into the learning path if they're not already located, like some of them are. This one is, okay? And under each assignment, there are a couple of problem sets. Again, these can be count towards grade or not. And so the idea, what we want the students to do, and I'll just hop into one really quick, is we want the students to do a little bit of reading here, okay? and do kind of an interactive activity, usually designed to be very, very, very short, answer a question or two, and then we want them down here at the bottom to grade it now. This is just a demo view, okay? But after they do, they get a bunch of, um, they, get, they get answers as to what's right and wrong, and then they get some feedback and explanation about what was right and what was wrong and why. After they do that, we want them to actually try the assignment again, except we give them a different version of it. The reason we give them a different version is to, again, help with those critical thinking skills. So we ask them questions that go towards the same concept, but we ask them in a different way. The nuts and bolts are different, but the concepts are the same. So it really forces the student to have a deeper understanding of the concept that they're learning about, instead of just memorizing what, what, what is right or wrong and kind of moving on. We're not looking for memorization as much. We're looking for them understanding a concept deeply. Again, these are assignments that you can pick and choose and assign for students as homework at home, or it could just be in here for practice and extra resources for your students. You can really do it either way. There's a bunch of other apps in here really quickly that I'll just talk about. This is a search app. If they want to search for anything inside of MindTap, they can use it here. It works like a Google search. This is the full book. There are sections for each book here. But if they want to get to the full one, they can come here. This is a glossary. This is a progress app. This app is designed for you to look at every single one of your students, how much they've been inside of MindTap, how they've done on assignments, and it gives you a, a lot of really great analytics. In case as you are reviewing your needs of your department, if you need to actually have some current and accurate student data, we will provide it for you here for the students that are using MindTap. Again, I mentioned we can read the book to you, and this is a read speaker app. We have flashcards, a dictionary, 
This app is Connect Yard. It is basically social media for your students. This app here is called um, Insight. It is a, um, it's our application used for um, pre-populated writing assignments that can assist your students in um, submitting their assignments securely to you. And it will also submit you in accurately and quickly grading those assignments. Um, and then this app here at the bottom is your My Notes app. As I mentioned in the beginning, if you do any highlighting or note taking or anything like that, those will all come to your My Notes app here and they will be automatically organized for the students for quick access so they can utilize them as a study tool. If you have any questions, I'd love to speak to you about it. Again, my name is Kevin DeLeon. Uh, my email address is kevin.deleon at cengage.com. And um, I hope this was really beneficial.